hi welcome to my channel if this is your first time or first day of coming across my youtube channel you are highly welcome please i beg you for a favor subscribe to this channel just click on that red button that says subscribe beside it is a notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be the first person to check it out leave your comments down below so in this video i am going to be sharing with you some tips that will help you to pass bay eyes proofing yes if you have been planning or you are planning to write bay eye proofing hang it there watch this video because it's gonna be useful to you you know when i was writing mine i make research on youtube i was trying to find a video that will give me some tips on how to pass this exam but i didn't i said okay once i write this exam and pass it i am going to bring this video out there so that many people who are preparing for this exam will use it and it's going to be useful to them this video might be long but i bet you if you watch it it's gonna serve as a great help to you let's hop into the video as you may all know the german bay eins exam is divided into three parts that is the comprehension in com comprehension comprises two sections that is lesson and horror the second one is schreiben that is letter writing or you call it writing and the last one is expression that is speaking so i am going to take it gradually so that you will understand what i am going to say the first thing you should do is this try as much as possible go back to our eyes d dear das it will help you learn new words yes because learning new words will be a very good advantage for you it will enable you to understand what they will be saying in horn okay take for instance if you are listening and they mention one word that you don't know the meaning how then would you choose your answers so it's better you could then study words read newspaper go to youtube there are many words vocabulary learn them this will help you in terms of lesson and horn you know in lesson they will bring something written up and ask you to choose your option if you don't know the meaning of a particular word there you will not be able to know the appropriate answer to choose the same thing applies to horn you know german they can use one word to mean different things so if maybe it's the word you know but they will mention it in another way and then you don't know that it's the same thing that they are talking about you will choose your you know that a horn is so einfach to fail so easy for you to fail it's possible you can get 0 over 0 in horn if you do not practice it by listening to horn go to youtube there are many examples of telecom or gote institute exam listen to them it will help you a lot learn new words take your bay eins uh, um book try to study them they will help and also try to learn vocabulary this goes a long way it goes a long way now i've been talking about horn on the left i have given you the tips in which you are going to use to pass horn on the lesson one i said you should go back to our eyes course try to learn the articles there try to learn the dear does and learn new words practice horn practice lesson by reading them this will help you then let's go to schreiben this is the coco in schreiben what you need to do go to youtube also there are some samples of schreiben there try as much as possible to practice them you see where this learn new word i said will enter now that is when you start using those words use neben sats 
it also helps. For example, if you are given a letter that your child is sick and you cannot bring him or her to kindergarten tomorrow and because of this you have to write to the teacher, then try as much as possible. You can say that my son can need Morgan in the kindergarten common while a crank is. Try that vile. That vile gives you a lot of points and they consider it as a good grammatic. Use that hub, use uh, the room, use uh, outside them, use all these verbs. Try to use them in your letter and also try as much as possible to touch all the points. In their letter, they always give four points. One is Varun Shribenzi, why are you writing? The number two is based on what you are asked to do. Try to point each of them. Do not skip one because once the person that is marking it, they have their scheme of work that they are using to mark it. Once they are marking it, what they are looking for is those points. If they read it and they didn't see any points, they will circulate like this. If they go to the second one, you may be writing something, thinking that you are writing, but if you did not touch the point, they are not going to give you the mark. So you should try as much as possible, learn new words, study it, practice it, learn how to start your introduction, write your dates very well. Yes, this is also important now. In Schreiber, you need to write your date, the date and the state or the place you are writing from. These are the things that they are marking. The first thing they will look at is your date. Did you write your date very well? Write your date, write your, uh, your state, that is the place you are writing the letter from. Then the first one is the introduction. Then the second one is the letter. If it is possible, try to make a little bit introduction. Just one sentence is okay. You try as much as possible to be, you know, hitting on the points. For example, if you are given this type of letter, they may ask you, vast passiert, or what happens to your son. You, you can just write it, just go straight to the point. You don't say that he went to so-so-so place. That is why he know. Vast passiert, uh, it's crank, simple. Then you go to the second point. They may ask you, when would you like your son to come back to, to, to school? Then you write it. Do not start telling story at the end. You will put your answer because these people may not have that patience to wait for you until you finish that. Why not answer them one and a half sentence or if possible two sentences that is correct will give you that full mark that you are looking for. So this is the tips in Schreiben now. So let's go to the expression. <laughs> expression, when you enter there, they are going to give you a paper that comprises your introduction that you should introduce yourself then I would direct you to go to YouTube. There are people who have done this. Also, watch their video. Do not start every, every word with it. It's been, it's been, it's coming, it's this, it's that. No, try as much as possible to change your sentences. And when you are introducing yourself, for you to avoid the questions that will be coming, for example, when I did mine, what I did is they start introducing my Beirut. I said it been journalisting. Then, instead of me to keep quiet or to wait for them to ask me what would I like to do further here, I continued. I said I would also like to continue working as a journalist here in Deutschland. So, when you said this, you have skip or you have saved yourself from some of the questions but if you said you are so 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 person they will ask you now what do you want to do then you will start if you cannot express yourself very well you have started making that mistake so to avoid this if you know your occupation your beruf after mentioning it tell them that you would like to continue doing that thing or if you don't want to do that thing tell them that 
later you want to change or you want to do this in Germany. So the only question they asked me after that was that, have I found out how I am going to work as a journalist in Deutschland? I said, for now, I don't know, but later after taking care of my children, then I will make research and the proper, find that proper way in which I am going to be practicing my profession here. They didn't ask me any question because they know that you know what you are saying. But if you give them that impression that you don't know what you are saying, they are going to bombard you with a lot of questions. By then you will be confused and you will start biting your tongue, stammering, and that is the beginning of your failure. To just enter there, feel confident, you know, feel relaxed. Do not be afraid of anything. Just look at them eyeball to eyeball. When they are asking you questions, look at them. Even if you don't know what you are saying, say something, say something, don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet and don't wait for your partner to say because here everybody is getting their own point. If your partner is not talking and you are talking, they will give you your own point. So do not wait for your partner to start. Rather, you should start. And the introduction part expression is very, very important because if you give them the impression from the beginning, that is the introduction that you cannot express yourself ordinarily to introduce yourself you cannot introduce them, they will be looking at you as somebody who do not study Bay Ains course. But in that introduction, if you can comport yourself very well, introduce yourself very well without any mistake, then the other ones is just nothing. That is where people fail because they cannot introduce themselves very well. Once they enter there, they will start shivering. They will start shivering. Some you cannot even mention their name correctly let alone their country or making this video for those who are preparing to write this exam comport yourself do not be afraid it's not difficult it's easy just introduce yourself very well if you have not been practicing try as much as you can to practice it will help you then after the introduction they will bring you photo they will bring photo for you to you know say what you see in the photo try as much as possible also to explain everything you see in the photo not just like not just the environment or what they are doing talk about their hair talk about the color of their clothes talk about the color of the environment just try as much as possible to be saying something let the examiner be the one the one to tell you to stop do not stop until they, they ask you to do that then the last one is at first planning during my own we were asked to plan how to cook our local dishes together. In this advanced planning, do not always start with volume V. I hear some people, they say volume V or column V. No, you start by each schlager for das V. Um, so, 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 tag, you mention what you want to do. Do not start with volume V, advanced susame, and so, 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 tag. A cock and other mark and nine slag suggest start from slag and it's lacked for it's lacked for that's V. I'm so 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 tag at first Susame other African issues essence Susame cock and then you ask the first vast minds to other vast minds depending on the ones you people are using because once you enter there they are gonna ask you if you are you if you wanna use Z or that do. During my own, we use do. During this period, if you are not the first person that started suggesting what you should cook, when the person says something like that, do not accept immediately. I see some people, they will say, yeah, yeah, maybe I said, um, it's like for that, uh, the um, fried tag, the uh, Francis Day, January, Susame, African Isis, SM cooking. You say, yeah, yeah. They are not giving you any points for that. You can see, when the person say it, you need to object or accept. If you accept, you must say something. Okay, if I said, yeah, yeah, I will not put my own word. I will say, viva the S, then V, I'm Zamstak. Remember, I said, I'm fried tag. Then you can also say, how is it? Viva the S, then V, I'm fried tag, dear, so, 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 tag, this uh, essence. Cook and vile and fried that have each kind sight. 
this is you have you have made a sentence they will give you your own point but if you always think if you always believe or accept yeah 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 then you will not get any point the point will be going to the other person it seems i'm talking too much but right. i believe anyone preparing for be Eins uh, German course who found this video useful. If you do, I beg you to subscribe, share this video, leave your comment down below until we meet again in my next video. I talk about new stories, life in Germany, talk show and vlogs. Bye bye.